Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, April 15, 2022. If you'd like to support our channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button below, and to see our newest, newest videos. And let's get to it. So, we'll start by looking at the NASDAQ. And as you can see, we had a terrible day here in the NASDAQ. We are down roughly. 2.27 percent and we're testing the very lows from tuesday if we break below here then we could drop really easily down toward 13k however if we manage to take out the highs from yesterday's session or today's session and break above the 50 moving average then we could go and head towards the 200 moving average could make the case that it's a bullish flag but momentum looks like is uh, is basically to the downside if you look at the macd it is it's a bearish stochastic is also bearish and so is the rsi so momentum definitely to the downside at this point so if you look at the s p we are very similar here rallied in the beginning of the session and then gave all of those gains back and ended up at give or take uh, 4400 uh, if we manage to break about uh, below the candlestick from uh, yesterday's and Tuesday's session, then we could drop all the way down towards 4,140. Or if we manage to break about the 200 moving average here at the 4,500, we can go towards 4,630, and then towards the very highest here. That is to be seen. However, momentum is definitely to the downside as the MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and so is the RSI. If we look at the Dow Jones, very similar here, rallied, gave those gains back, and now we're testing the lows from yesterday and also on Tuesday. Breaking below here, opens the door down toward, I was supposed to do that. So uh, this is the Dow Jones. Um, if we, uh, yes, so we did rally in the beginning of the session, fell quite uh, nastily, and if we manage to break below the 50 moving average here and the lows from yesterday and on Tuesday session, then we could drop all the way down towards 32.3k. However, if we manage to break above the 200 moving average, we could go and test the highs here of 35.3, then 35.8, and then towards 36.9. That is to be seen. Technical indicators are still favoring the downside, but we are bouncing off the 50 moving average and have been for quite some time. If we look at the European market, we can see the DAX has rallied the last three sessions. Uh, we are getting quite close to the 50 moving average. We got rejected there um, a few uh, day, trading days ago, and it kind of looks like it is just a matter of time before this time around heads back, back and creates a double bottom. But if we manage to break above the 50 moving average, then it is 14.9, uh, which is going to be tested, and the 200 moving average, and then above that. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. MACD is flat at this point, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is flat as well. If we look at the volatility, uh, then we can see that we had an increase in volatility today, which is a negative for basically the markets in general and therefore we also saw most of the market turning red today if we manage to break above the highs here on tuesday then we could go to the 50 moving average at 26.52 and after that to the very highs breaking below the 200 moving average opens the door down towards 18.20 if you look at the 10 year this really took off today we are trading at roughly 2.831 and we are testing the highs from Tuesday. We are quite overstretched, overbought as well, but technical indicators are very, still very bullish. If we pull back from here, then we'll most likely find major support down at 2.538 and after that down towards the 50 moving average. But we are in a very nice upward channel and pullbacks at this point are our buying opportunities so hope you find this helpful you're watching support channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos good luck and thank you very much